I believe that my message is incredibly simple. And that's this right here. That when you unequivocally embrace who it is that you are, you allow others to experience the depth of who you are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You look well. So today, uh, headed out to go grab Owen, who is my photographer, because uh, we're heading to Birmingham. We'll bring you along the way, so here we go. Mr. Owen Jordan. Say hey, Owen. Hey, everybody. Okay, great. We're getting some PDQ. PDQ. Hi, hi. Owen wanted to uh, go to Bojangles, and I told him no, unless he wanted to experience the wrath of my stomach. Lord, no. For four more hours on this trip. Oh, gosh. Please don't. Uh, so I was like, you can either, you know, and so anyways, he told me that my stomach was what? What'd you say? It was a princess? It's princess tummy, man. Princess tummy. Princess pack. Well, you know what? Well, you know what? This princess tummy has a six pack. Oh, dropping a mic on him. vlogging in public is all the people that get to look at you doing it. Cheeburger, cheeburger, man. So they have this thing there. It's like if you eat like a, I don't know, it's like eight pounds of beef. They put you on a wall. I don't know about you, but that sounds amazing. I really actually believe that I could do it. Oh, here it is, cheeburger, cheeburger. Let me turn you around so you can see this. Just, just change this to a food blog. So if you're like watching, don't unsubscribe yet. You gotta like yeah. see some other material. It's not all gonna be food, I promise. Um, <laughs> they're gonna be like, why is this he just talking about food for 15 minutes? Let's go up here. I was just thinking about this. It's about like you're an average, I'm an average of the five people that I am hang out with the most. Um, I would like to add an addendum plus myself. So the average of the five people I hang out with the most plus myself. For me, I just think about the people that I got to be around today. Some really good people who have formed um, a lot of who I am to this day and just grateful for them. And uh, so my question to you is as I cap off this night at, uh, wow, at 1019 or 1020, Is um, who are you hanging out with? Who are you allowing to speak into your life? Uh, because that's probably going to determine who you end up being in 10, 15, 20 years from now. All right, headed to the first meeting of the day. Owen is MIA, also known as in the bathroom. So. Really want to go randomly interview people? What do y'all think about that? Do you want to go do it? I think we should go do it. Yeah. One thing you can see change about the city. What is it? One thing. Together. Together. Being on one accord, one love, one street, a sound mind. That's what's about. Yeah, whole judgment. I didn't get your name on Micah. 
I'm Anna. Anna. Yeah. It's seriously a pleasure to meet you. Nice thanks for to meet thanks you. for talking to us. All right. You're awesome, by the way. Hey, best of luck to you. Man, so that was crazy. Um, actually interviewing Anna. Um, I don't know. That's what it's all about. I love when she's like, uh, I want you to come film my film my family. That was awesome. Man, I went on this rant on my Instagram story. I just wish you could have, wish you could have seen it. It was awesome. Woo! Do I have a word for you this morning? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. All right. So I want to talk about powering up, powering up, powering up. Here is what I'm learning right now, and I believe here's how Super Mario, Mario Brothers, can relate to your life. You want to click right, right now. Here's what I want to talk about powering up today. You know when you play Mario Brothers, you know how you get like the, you know, you power up like, uh, you know, like the mushrooms, but. But you notice, you get the power when you go through the block. Woo, Mario Brothers preaching this morning, come on. All right, so here's what I believe the lesson is. That the lessons in life that you learn, okay, are going to provide the tools to leverage for the next level. You gotta level up, you gotta power up somebody, come on. <laughs> Instagram live and so what I'm learning right now is just that hey you're never gonna be ready you know you're never gonna be ready to you know start that fitness program you're never gonna be ready to uh, do that thing start that business so the reality is get ready on the way get ready on the way now I am headed to my old grammar school today. Does that even make sense, old? I, mean, I don't think you can realize how far you've gone until you realize how far you've come. I wanted to be everyone but me, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if any of you have ever felt that way. Like, like you see someone, you're like, if I could only be this person, or if I could only do this, or if I could only be at this level, or get these grades, or only do this, or only do that, then I would be happy. And the reality is, you're never gonna be happy doing that, you know? There's like, like, like you're gonna get there, and then there is gonna move. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you're here, and I wanna get there. But then when you get there, guess what? There becomes here, and there's a new there. You see what I'm saying? You're always going there, you're always going somewhere, and then you're never happy. And what I realized was being fully myself was really the only thing I was ever meant to be. A little, a little cray cray. I don't know about you, but I feel like my mind is on like uh, massive overload. Something that really hit me just now, and I'm, I have an issue with not being busy. Meaning I feel guilty when I'm not busy, when I'm not doing something. And I think a lot of the times I'll find my identity in being busy. And sometimes I'll be busy for the sake of being busy. Being busy isn't being productive. There's a delineation. You lunch me home. Alright, so great, great, great week in Birmingham. Finishing it up. I'm actually headed back to Raleigh right now. I'm just super grateful to see family and friends. But I believe that my message is incredibly simple. And that's this right here. That when you unequivocally embrace who it is that you are, you allow others to experience the depth of who you are. And so I don't believe that the mission, the, that the mission of this vlog and this YouTube channel and this Instagram and all this is to, you know, be a life coach or tell you things or give you advice that I think you need to take. No, no, no. It's sharing experiences, creating space for you to embrace fully who it is that you are, because guess what I'm doing? I'm 100% embracing who it is that I am. No matter what they say, no matter what the world says, no matter how many comments, negative, positive you leave, I'm gonna be me. And I encourage you, and you, and you, and you, and you, the person that I think you think I'm not talking to, 
to do the exact same. Because Lord knows the world is telling you to do the exact opposite. It's to conform. Uh, it's to take this, to do this, to be prettier. You're not enough. You, you, you're not this. You're not that. And I bought into that lie that if I would just do this, this algorithmic way of happiness, if I would just do X, then Y would be produced. And what I found from my own experience is that life just doesn't work that way. It's actually the exact opposite. It's that the love, the happiness, all of that is found with you know, the walk in between and the process, not the product. It's the process. And that's what I'm doing here is the process. It's documenting my own process, documenting my own journey, documenting what I'm learning, my experiences. And the hope is that they would impact you in such a way that you would live your life more motivated, more inspired to become the best version of yourself. It's not some crap that I'm selling because I'm not selling anything. I want to give it all away for free and just say, hey, come along beside me. Come with me on this journey and let's do it together. Let's share the struggle together.